this is my son's fish tank. We got up this morning and this big blue fish right here went to freaking out and floating to the bottom and everything. Anyway, we're going to do a little test here. And we're going to put him in a, a small container with some of this water. And we're going to put some of the in it and see what happens. He's not liking that at all, is he? No. So now he's he's struggling a little bit for He's not floating to the bottom like he was. Well, give him a second. Huh? We'll watch him for a while. We'll give you an update. So now he's been all day long. He's no longer floating upside down. And he seems to be fine. So I showed you the my son's fish and he was dying or he was not he was not doing well anyway he was floating at the bottom of the tank but now it's 2 days later and I want to show you 
what's happened since then. He's back to swimming around like fish do. So that shows you that the a sea of redox molecules actually do work even on fish because even fish have cells that need help. It's kind of amazing because he, he sits here and he he sees that I'm taking a video of him. <laughs> and I've walked past him the last couple days like and looked in there and he's always come to the glass and paid attention to me since I did that. Because he knows I did something, but he don't know what it was I did. But it wasn't me. It was the power of the signaling molecules that did the work in him to bring about the change of, of wellness. It's pretty amazing.